All right, welcome back to another episode of Our Attack and Daughters, and right here we're looking at the newer Taurus G2C. The C, as you can see, ah, has a yellow magazine follower, and it holds 12 rounds. So it's a 12-round magazine. Uh, these come in... 9 millimeter and 40 Smith and Wesson. <clears throat> this one here is a 9 millimeter. So let's talk about some of the features on this. It has a thumb safety. Not too bad. Uh, Taurus and its markings there. Slide. This is tan and black, as you can see. Uh, it is not ambidextrous. It does have a front Picatinny rail with a slot in it. <clears throat> this gun is unloaded. It does have an adjustable rear sight. It does have a cocking and detector or loaded when up, as you can see there. So it'll be a chamber indicator. <clears throat> And there's some more adjustments on the back of the site there. It has uh, traditional three dot sights. Uh, pretty good fit and finish on this gun. <clears throat> Let's talk about the slide release here. For me, the thumb safety is natural if you like shooting 1911s. So that's going to be, you're going to be used to that. The placement of the safety and the slide release makes me with my hand have to have to change the grip a little bit and then release it uh this gun hasn't been fired yet so i can't tell you on that uh it does have a stiff magazine release and it will pop out so it'll drop magazines it'll no problem whatsoever um the stippling here on the grips, I actually like kind of re reminiscent of the Smith and Wesson stippling. So if you're a fan of that, you like that. I just wish Taurus would not put these little thumb rests on there, which are they're fine. Uh, it gives a place for your thumb to go, so you don't ride the slide lock or the safety. But uh, they wish would have got rid of those and maybe extended these uh, panels with the stippling up a little bit more. Um, it would definitely let you get a better grip. Uh, but again, as a subcompact gun here, <clears throat> all three of my fingers are on there. I can get a good grip on this bad boy. So I like that as one of the other facts uh, that I liked about it. <clears throat> also, it's got those little trigger dingus like the Glocks do. Um, if you hear that, you can see it's got a spongy trigger after you load it. Well, it's not really spongy. You can feel the take up on it. So right there is the wall. So that's a single action. Realistically, it's a single action trigger pull after you load it. <clears throat> then you pull it. Right there is the brake. And it fires. It's roughly a five pound, five and a half pound trigger. Uh, reset is audible. And it's right there. And then you go back into almost like a double action trigger where it feels close to seven pounds. Kind of odd. Now here's the great thing about this. So you let it back out. You got a re-strike capability on a polymer pistol. That's right. It goes double action. I like that idea, especially if you're a reloader uh, or you got some bad ammo. You'll be able to get another uh, firing pin strike at it um, before you have to rack it. Um, so I'll get back to you on part two of the video of when we go to the range with it. But <clears throat> right around MSRP is like three twenty-five. Uh, you get them anywhere from I've seen them anywhere from two hundred nine dollars up to two hundred and thirty nine dollars uh depending on where you shop at so relatively uh 
inexpensive handgun so I know Taurus has had some issues in the past with the PT-111 some quality control so I said well, I'll take the take the plunge on this one and see how it does I do have two other Smith & Wesson revolvers I got the M85 uh, which I'll do an upcoming uh, video on that it's a 38 special five shot I've already done the M65 uh, 357 Magnum gun both of those uh, weapons have been extremely reliable for me and no issues <clears throat> out of them at all. So I expect the same out of this one, and we'll see. Uh, it's definitely a little bit thicker than the Glock. It's got a 3.2 inch barrel, so it's got a shorter barrel than the Glock. Um, <clears throat> it's considerably heavier. Uh, it's wider than the Glock 43. It's nowhere near, it, even with the, with the Glock 43 with the two round extended magazine um it's about the same length on the magazine again this is what i care about i like i don't mind having a small gun like this because it's still carry or deep a deep carry gun i just want to be able to put my three fingers on it i wish taurus would have done a little bit more of an undercut right here on the trigger guard but other than that and the grip stippling coming up and getting rid of this little thumb well because i got it on both sides if they got rid of those and then and increase their stippling up more, this would be a very hard gun to get out of your hand, wet, snow, mud, or anything. So I look forward to shooting it and getting back with you guys on that place for my pinky. I can get a good purchase on this gun. I can get a good high purchase on it for me. So, all right, here's your less than 10 minute video. Remember, if you like our video, subscribe. I know y'all y'all are out there watching it. So just subscribe. We're not getting no kickbacks off of Facebook or anything like that. Um, I was like, no, y'all be y'all appreciate what we're doing here for you. <clears throat> and for everybody else in the community. Um, so we yeah, will have to see. So remember, we like thumbs up. We also like those subscribers. And, uh, and we'll get back into... Uh, another our upcoming series our our world war one american rifle series will be coming up shortly and <clears throat> uh, we also got a, a canic pistol elite coming up to do a review on so um i'll let you know how this thing shoots so um so yeah wait for a reliability video out so this is a table talks tabletop and very first unboxing of it so you guys are getting to see it first so I haven't got to play with it all that much so it comes with your typical stuff you know your <clears throat> it does come with two 12 round magazines <clears throat> if I'm right they take they also will take the 15 round SIG uh, P26 P226 mags uh, I'll have to double check on that but I think they do um, <clears throat> there are some options there for magazines for it I think they make a 15 round extended one, um, but 12 rounds, that's pretty stout for a small gun like this, <clears throat> and and for a price point under 250 so you can't really beat that with a dead horse, so anyway guys, we'll catch you next time.